<laughs> hey guys, my name's James. And I'm Ashley. Three years ago, we sold our house and we've been traveling across the country ever since. Hi, I'm Goose. I'm Ashley. Join, Join us! us! So today guys, I am super stoked because today we are prepping our driveway for our first storage container. We ordered a 40 foot high cube storage container, one for the short term to be kind of like a workshop slash uh, storage container. <laughs> because behind you right now, you can see our garage is full of stuff whether it be parts we've ordered and bought, tools that we got that we need. And if you didn't know, we are turning this shop into a 800, 850 square foot kind of tiny house. I'm tired. <laughs> I guess it's not technically a tiny house, but it is a small house. It'll be a one bedroom and an office with laundry room and an open concept kitchen, living room, dining room, which we are really excited about. But because we are removing the garage, we need a place for all these tools and things to go. So that's why we have the storage container coming. And then down the road a year or so, we plan to eventually over here to my right, build a container home. That's right, a four container, three story container home is our current concept. Three well, story? Three story. We'll talk about that more in the future, but right now we're just prepping the area, getting it leveled out, getting all the debris and whatnot removed. Cause it's a 40 foot long thing. So it'll run from move out here to about here, roughly. And I got my little helper with me. Goose has been doing amazing. She's done all sorts of things since we bought this property, whether it be moving and fences. I while you were fixing your uh, shoelaces. She was giving me crap this morning because I was getting my shoes. I had to replace my laces. And she was like, I'm almost done and you're not even out here. But she has been a great little helper. So we're getting this all cleared out and ready to go. But he's going to be here in about 30 minutes. Eee. So we got to get going. The delivery guy. is to have the bubble be dead center between those lines. So, so which side do you think needs to go up? This side needs to go up just a little bit. Or we can dig that side down a little bit. Want that bubble. Look at that! Dead center. See? Tools. Leave me hanging. She's so excited. <laughs> Buddy, you'll have a better home. We got our Shed. first snake sighting, guys. Oh, she's trying to find a crack to go into. Okay, stop, we're scaring you. What? We're scaring you. He's okay, he'll find a new spot further away from people. There he goes. Don't kill him. Bye-bye, buddy. Have a good life. I'm not gonna kill him. Do something kind of crazy. I wanna go drive all night with you. 
right next to me Feel the pounding of your heartbeat When we get up high, won't look down, we won't look back Yeah, when I die, I wanna know I live like So uh, here's the deal. We requested for the doors to be facing the rear so we can access it directly from the garage as like a workshop slash storage. And somehow that was lost in translation for the delivery. And the doors are facing the cab of the truck, which like isn't the end of the world, but on rainy days, it will be really annoying to have to walk 40 feet back that way and carry stuff that much further. He says he's got a way somehow to make the doors face here. I don't know how he's gonna do it, so uh, Let's, let's watch some magic. <laughs> okay, so I just talked to the poor guy. Here's what he's having to do. So you can see he's pulled back around right here in the front. He's going to unhook, drop off the, or he's going to drop off the container, back up, turn around and do like a three point turn down at the, the stop sign, back up, rehook it up, and then back down the driveway. I feel so bad for the guy, but it's like, it's what we ordered. So it's like, I feel bad, but I don't feel bad at the same time, you know? Ugh, so insane. <laughs> that was a good boom. I wanna go make pictures look like postcards. I wanna go take the train and watch you sleep right in my arms. I wanna go. So he's making me a little nervous because he doesn't even have the container strapped down right now and he's going down the hill. <laughs> Yeah, when I die, I wanna know I live like this. I wanna run in wide spaces, fly like the wind in high places, rushing like water on my face with your hand in my hand. Ooh, I wanna dance into the morning, kissing like you've never been kissed before me. I would go anywhere you wanna go with your hand in my hand. by this guy's precision. <laughs> Opening the container for the first time. Yeah, <laughs> I wonder if it's sense? tweaked. Yeah, it's, it's unlocked, but I wonder if it's tweaked. That's nice. There we go.
won't open all night. I wonder if this is bent. I'm gonna have to contact the guy if that's a thing, because that's not okay. As you guys might have just noticed, my sister and her kids and husband showed up while we were getting our container delivered. And now that we got it all leveled out, very excited to kick back and relax because this week my dad has the lake cabin. And for those of you that have been with us for a while, you know that my dad has this lake house timeshare kind of thing on Lake Merwin. So we're gonna go ahead and pause work here on the container, pause work on the property, and just go have some fun this weekend. Goose is so excited to be hanging out with Sam and Ella. She absolutely adores her cousins. As you guys saw when we were just at Silverwood and we went camping to Moses Lake and whatnot, I'll link those videos up there if you haven't seen them, but they have a blast together. So let's pause work and let's go have some fun on the water because it's supposed to be like 95 degrees and for the Pacific Northwest, that's amazing. <laughs> All right, Mav, you ready to go have some fun at the lake? Uh-huh. Yeah? I'm bringing Are we going to go play in the water? Uh-huh. Let's do it. Come on. I got this sudden feeling like now's the time to start. I got a big idea in my head. I got a dream down in my heart. I'm praying that you'll help me now. I'm praying that you'll show me how.
gets hard, I promise not to quit. And it feels so good to be alive, it feels so good you're by my side. So many more activities in here. Like cartwheels. We are both sweaty and disgusting because it got up to about 98 degrees today. <sighs> um, but I am excited because we are finally starting demolition. No more organization, no more prepping. We got the tools out and we're gonna start doing some work. 